Welcome to the beautiful Hinchley Dairy Farm and one of my favorite dairy farmers of all time, Miss Tina Hinchley. It's so good to be out here and celebrating June Dairy Month with you. I am so thrilled to have this opportunity to share my farm with all of your viewers. <laughs> you and your husband took over the farm in 2000 from your in-laws. Right. Kind of take us through the journey of what has changed since that time. We grew a little bit in bits and pieces, just a couple cows at a time. And as we got to the point where our kids were all in college, um, one of them decided that she wanted to come back to the farm, but she didn't want to be milking cows nine hours a day. And we looked at technology. We're using technology as it is right now in planting and harvesting, but now we're using it by having our cows milk robotically. I think this is so cool and we're gonna get to see that, but so the cows actually decide when they want to be milked. How yep. nice is that? Oh, it's amazing. And it definitely certifies the fact that cows love to be milked. When they go in five and six times a day, mm -hmm. we have got a couple of cows that are doing 18 and 19 gallons a day. Wow. So their bodies are saying, milk me. And they're able to go in and get milked. So much to learn June Dairy Month, but if they can just take away one thing, it's what to look for in the grocery store. So pull out your prop. As you go to the grocery store and you're looking for a way to help Wisconsin dairy farmers, look for this badge. This is gonna tell you that this cheese is coming from our amazing cows in Wisconsin. And that's gonna support the farmers out here. Thank you for what you do. For every person out there who drinks the milk and eats the cheese, we thank you. Oh, it was I lovely to see you. Thank you so much for sharing this with everybody. I'm Emmy Fink, and you heard it here. You are buzzed into Madison.